What's up guys? Welcome back to today's video. I'm so sorry I'm not filming like a traditional introduction, but I thought I did. Um, and as it turns out, I was wrong. So in today's vlog, I'm going to show you guys how I'm setting up my studio corner. As you guys know, um, the space that I'm in right now is temporary until one of my kids wants to stop sharing a room upstairs in our home so again I'm not really setting up a permanent space right now because eventually I do plan to move but I wanted to set up a couple of things that I could easily break down and move as necessary so that's what we're doing in today's vlog let's go ahead and hop on into it I wasn't intending on moving this rug, and I'll tell you why. Because recently I got a comment saying, um, it was very nice, it was a very kind comment, but it was saying how my sound quality isn't that great because there's like a lot of echo in the room, which I totally understand, right? It's a room, there are doors, there's no carpet, it's tile, so everything is really just going crazy sound-wise. Um, so I wasn't going to take this rug out because I do think that it helped with that, but I really don't like the rug. And I have to figure something else out as far as the sound goes, but... There's always tomorrow I need more time But time can't be borrowed I'd leave it all behind If I could follow Since the love that you left Is all that I get Alright, so I know that The echo is going to be pretty bad But I just got a couple of things From the other room um, that I'm going to use. This is like a craft watch mate from Michaels that I've had for a long time. I was already kind of using it. So this tray sits in the top and there's space underneath. Let's see what I can fit in Got these from Canva, which they're very nice little thank you cards with the space for a sample. Uh, I really like them, but what I did not account for is they don't fit in like the three by three by three box, which is perfect if someone orders one soap or one jar. Um, you know, it's a perfect size for that. But these cards, mine are six by four or five by four, and they don't fit. Settle for the ghost of you. I miss you more than life. And if you can't be next to me, your memory is ecstasy. I miss you more than life. I miss you more than life. Always tomorrow I miss your 
touch on nights when I'm hollow I know you cross the bridge that I can't follow Since the love that you left is all that I get I want you to know that if I can't be close to you I'll settle for the ghost of you I miss you more I don't think it could have gotten worse. Um, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna end this vlog here. We've been going at it for, I've been recording interesting things happening for like a week at this point. So I'll show you really quick kind of where I ended up. I do still have a few more things to figure out like the soundproofing this room. Um, I don't really have a solution for that like at this moment, but I'm gonna need to figure something out if I continue to film in here. So this is what I have for soundproofing temporarily. I Obviously I know it's not gonna do a bunch. Um, so under this table, that's where I put the paper shreds for packaging. Then I've got like my boxes and bags. That's all of the tape and just, you know, like the little things, samples, sample cards, my wax seals for soap. And then if you take the tray out, I've got just, you know, fragile stickers, my tape that I got from Sticker Mule that I do have a discount code for below, or it's like a $10 credit, then the fragile stickers and some of that honeycomb paper. And again, I've got my samples and other little bags that I need. These are heat shrink bags. These are my replica surface stands. I just need them to not be like on the floor somewhere. And then a shipping scale that honestly I think is going to do just wonders for me personally. Um, I don't have to keep, you know, dragging everything out and going back and forth. So this is what it looks like over here. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet. Um, I might make it maybe like a candle pouring station. I don't know. I have a lot of room as you can see. Um, the shipping area didn't take up nearly as much as I thought it would, although I might move my shipping label printer in here because there's an outlet. Um, I'll probably put this back in the cabinet or back in the closet in a moment. And yeah, I realized when I came to do like the photography side, there wasn't actually that much to do. Um, <laughs> you know, I don't have like a ton of photography stuff per se. I just have my surfaces and then where I'm storing a bunch of other things that I use, like my molds and things like that. So yeah, here's some finished products that I'm about to put away on the shelf. And just in case you're new, so here is one of them. Here is an example of a finished product of mine, our cashmere whipped sugar scrub. Okay, this is what it looks like. And then I do the wax seal on the top with LV stamped in. And yeah, that's one. What else we got in here? Oh yes, here's another good one. White tea sugar scrub. That's a really, really good one. This is a new one. Um, it smells great. And then I've got some body butters that need to be labeled. This one smells so good. It's a pretty bright sunshine. All right. And then I need to just put that stuff away. So my goals for next are figure out a soundproofing um, solution that is not pillows sitting on the floor and then kind of decide what I'm going to do with this space here. I might get a little table that can fit under it. I don't know. I haven't decided. I might also see that could fit under there as well. I'm going to go grab babe, see what she needs, and I'll check in with you guys next week.